Because you got these positive people who are out there reaching a hand back, always climbing higher, finding the better way to get somewhere. Then you got these people. These are who I like to call the rut people. These are the people that you hear walking in on a Monday morning. Now, do negative people just tiptoe because they don't want to bother anybody? <laughs> no. Rachel's working at her desk in her area, and she hears. And Rachel knows, it's that guy. <laughs> She's typing away going, please don't make eye contact. Please don't make eye contact. Please don't make eye contact. Then all of a sudden, Rachel hears. which is the mating call of the negative. <laughs> and then she hears the follow-up noise. <laughs> now, Rachel's a nice person. She looks up and she asks, how's it going? What is the first thing Rachel's mind tells her? We, we should not have asked that question. <laughs> Wish we could get those words back. Because what comes next? The negative person goes, Ooh. An opening. And all of a sudden, every reason why last week was horrible comes out. Some of it's your fault. <laughs> and why this week's going to be worse. And why the summer's coming. It's going to get busier. <sighs> How do we all feel after listening to somebody vent venom for five or ten minutes? You want to poke your eye out with a stick? Grounds crew, remove all the sticks from the property. <laughs> I don't want to get blamed for that.